You may recognize this song and these faces from the popular show Good Times, one of the first primetime sitcoms depicting life for African Americans. This man, Whitney LeBlanc, helped bring the show to life. There's still reruns of Good Times. Things that he actually had done really made an impact on so many people and no one really knows that this is the gentleman and actually had uh, his DNA and everything that, that we know. Whitney LeBlanc served as associate producer of several episodes of Good Times. He also worked on The Young and the Restless, Marblehead Manor, Generations, and served as the only director of over 100 episodes of the nationally aired series, Our Street. But before he made television shows for people to enjoy, he made history at what was then Towson State College. In 1965, LeBlanc became the school's first black faculty member. Whitney LeBlanc is not just black history. Whitney LeBlanc is Towson history. Whitney LeBlanc was here in a time where he wasn't quite welcomed as the first faculty member at this university. LeBlanc said that himself during an interview back in 2021, where he reflected on what it was like to be the first, the only. It was not easy. It was, uh, <laughs> I hate to compare it, but it was like Jackie Robinson with the, uh, Brooklyn Dodgers. Though it wasn't easy, it was impactful because black students found a safe space in LeBlanc's class. There were 30 black students here, and when black students would enter the room, then the room people would get up to leave, or if we sat at a table, the students would leave the table. So it wasn't a welcoming environment. So I had to learn to collaborate with my classmates. And the class I learned to do that in was stagecraft. He taught stagecraft. LeBlanc is no longer teaching. He died February 9th of 2023. But people in the Towson community are still learning from his legacy. I'm in awe of how much he did here and how many lives he touched just through theater alone. On the one year anniversary of his death and the 50th anniversary of the sitcom Good Times, members of the Towson community held a celebration to honor LeBlanc and his role on the show. To bring awareness back to this man who had such an important role in our history but hasn't been celebrated as much as, as we could have in the past. And to make sure the Towson community recognizes Whitney LeBlanc's name, face and impact. I hope that our students take courage and take inspiration from his story, from his time here, uh, and go out into the world and do the same thing for other places and other communities and institutions. I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News.